Okay, what I'm going to show today is how to make and terminate MTA connectors. This is an MTA connector. It's 156, which is the spacing, 156 mils between the pins. The orange one is 18 wire gauge to 16 wire gauge. The yellow one is 20 wire gauge to 22. And the white piece is a strain relief cap that goes on the actual connector when done and just prevents the cables from pulling out being able to take a good amount of force without causing any damage the idea is to be able to terminate these wires into the actual connector they're user assemblable The way they work is these metal pins that make contact with the different male headers have a V groove and they cut into the insulation of the actual wire. So there's no need to strip, solder, or do anything special. We use a small screwdriver. In this particular case, just a standard jeweler screwdriver. It's a medium size. You can use some larger sizes. Whatever you're most comfortable with will be able to terminate the wires. The strain relief cap just installs on. Clips in. Very simple. This is a piece of 18 gauge stranded wire comes with the PSU kits. In this particular case, we're going to use the orange connector. You can install this on the power supply or freestanding. I usually do them freestanding. In this particular case, the wire is very thick. And some of the wires in the enclosures are very thick. So no matter how hard you push it, it doesn't really go in the place very well. So sometimes what I will do is I'll take a razor and just shave a little bit off the wire. Not enough to expose the wire, but enough to cause a flat spot. This will thin the wire out quite a bit and make it easier to insert into the connector. At this point, you can see I can almost push it in with my finger to get it to sit. So what I'll do then is try and push it a little more into place. And then I will start to work the blade, the screwdriver into the wire. And it doesn't usually happen in one attempt. You have to kind of push the tail, push the head of the wire. If you have a bigger screwdriver, sometimes it goes in in one push. Usually they do not. And then when you're done, you'll see the wire is into the V of the connector it's not on the top it is inside the metal connector it's strong I can jiggle and pull on it pretty well and it won't strip and then I'll install the white dust cap or strain relief cover on the top and that's done. You can go ahead and install the rest of the wires in these as needed. You'll have a simple user assemblable connector.
Thanks for watching.